Here's an unexpected pattern. Start with a triangle and pick any location within it. Then choose at random any of the triangle's three corners. From the starting location to the corner, draw a line and find the point in the exact center of that line. That point then becomes the new starting location to repeat this process. Pick a corner at random, draw a line from the new starting point to the corner, find the center of that line, and repeat. With these new points, we can continue to pick random corners, draw lines, and find their centers. If we continue this process on and on, we start to see a pattern emerge. A central inverted triangle begins to be defined, followed by other smaller ones. The structure that forms is called a Sierpinski triangle, named for the Polish mathematician Wacław Sierpinski. The Sierpinski triangle is a fractal, in that you can continue to dive into it and find the same pattern repeating on forever. As the pattern defines more and more dots, the fine structures of the fractal emerge. And remember, this was all seeded from a random location and fed by randomly chosen points. We could take this even further and apply this pattern with a third dimension. Starting with a triangular pyramid called a tetrahedron, we could pick a random location, choose at random one of the four corners, draw a line, and find the center of the line. Continuing the pattern in 3D space, we start to see a similar structure emerge. Instead of nested triangles, we now see nested tetrahedra begin to form. Repeating the pattern out millions of times, we can see the form of this 3D fractal called the Sierpinski tetrahedron. I'll be posting a part two to this that explains why a pattern of random choices will make this exacting structure. So follow along. Thanks.